finish today. Sharp sent me out a new bolt carrier group. I'm gonna throw it in the rifle. We're gonna go test this thing out and uh, let's do it. So this is the bolt carrier group by Sharps Rifle Company. This one is what they call their XPB bolt. Um, to give you a couple little, uh, you know, specs on it, like you saw in the packaging here, it's got their diamond-like coating, which is supposed to minimize the need for lubrication, keep everything running uh, really, really smooth, as well as obviously really, really durable. Uh, it'll fit any standard AR-15, M16, M4, uh, 223, 25 to 45 sharps, uh, 300 blackout, and it does have a no questions asked lifetime warranty, which is super dope. Um, anything else on the back here? Uh, it says the DLC should make cleanup a breeze. Apparently, just you know, kind of repels carbon a little bit. It keeps everything uh, just you know really nice and smooth. So uh, that is the bolt itself. Let's go ahead and switch this thing out. So, as I mentioned before, I had a Bravo company in the gun. You can kind of see them side by side here. All right, and Bravo's obviously no slouch, so uh, I'm excited to see how this thing performs in it. Okay, so here's the deal. This thing says that the XPB does not need a lot of lubrication. That's its whole point. So I'm gonna fire 10 rounds, absolutely bone dry, right out of the package. It did feel like a little bit of a lube was on there or something. So uh, I'm interested to see if we get any jam ups in the first 10 after that. I am gonna throw some of this REM oil on and keep shooting. All right, here we go. rounds no misfires it it feels dry <laughs> I can tell you it feels a little dry so I'm gonna try some lube on here see if uh, see how that runs all right so we got it lubed up let's try it again I'm gonna do 10 rounds I'm gonna do five uh, slowly and then five kind of rapid fire Think smooth, I gotta say. Very smooth. Okay, so here's the deal. As I mentioned, I'm really used to the Bravo bolt. It's a fantastic bolt, it's an expensive bolt. Um, and I really like this Sharps bolt. Like, I mean, it stands up to this thing all day long. What I'm afraid of is if it's somewhat of a placebo effect on mine, and I can't really tell the difference. So, I'm gonna have Kyle here behind the camera to have him put in the bolt so I'm gonna turn my back he's gonna put in a bolt I'm gonna fire five shots and then he's gonna switch the bolts out so I turn my back fire five shots and I'm gonna try and say which one is which and which one I liked more so here we go the sharps versus Bravo test okay here we go bolt number one
think I know what one that is, but I'm not gonna say. So I'm gonna have Kyle switch out the other bolt now. Let's see what's up. Okay. Bolt number two. Tannerite out here. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Bolt two. There's less I think than I thought, but I will say, I think. The number two, the one that I just shot, is is smoother, and uh, it's it's it feels less like I don't know how to explain it. I will say I think I like number two more. I think number two is the sharps. Kyle, I knew it. This one that Kyle has in his hand is the Bravo, meaning this one's the sharps. And, and I can absolutely tell a difference. I knew I could. I knew I wasn't crazy, and I knew it wasn't a placebo effect. Okay. So here's the deal, guys. You know, if you've been a fan of the channel, you know I don't claim to be a, a hardcore gun expert. I'm not someone who's going to tell you the difference between these steels and why one is better in the long term than the other. I, I'm just not. I'm a guy who likes to shoot and who likes to share what he learns while he shoots. That being said... As a guy who likes to shoot, who likes to go to the range and wants to feel that my rifle is as high end as possible and just feel the, it, I don't know how to explain it because I don't know the right terms, but it's the difference between driving a car that is like a luxury vehicle, everything is smoother, there's better suspension, whatever, um, versus driving, you know, an economy car. And uh, while the Bravo and the Sharps aren't that far apart, the Sharps is a luxury car. It feels smoother. It almost feels lighter. The Bravo feels like it hits your shoulder harder. I don't know if that makes any sense, but um, I can like I can hear the buffer spring louder with the, with the Bravo, and the Sharps just seems. Um, I'm sorry that's not more scientific. I I wish it could be. I'm sure there's some other more scientific reviews out there if you're looking for them. But I will tell you from a guy who likes to shoot, who shoots a lot, that uh, the Sharps is absolutely a fantastic bolt. Now, keep in mind, obviously, that's, I mean, this is out of the box. You saw me unbox this thing. This is my first time using the thing. I don't know how it's going to stand up over a long period of time. I will tell you that the uh, the whole XP, like the, the DLC, the diamond-like co coating, is, is really intriguing in that, uh, you know, it'll run still when it's dirty. You're, you're hopefully, in theory, not going to get near as many misfires, uh, which, of course, you know, if you're using your AR for defense or something like that, the last thing you want to worry about is if it's dirty and it's not going to fire. It seems like it's going to stand up, in theory, all day long. You saw me run it with zero oil on it whatsoever. So, with all that being said, I think I'm going to keep the sharps in the rifle. I got to be honest. Price-wise, I'm out here in the middle of the nowhere. I don't have any any uh, service, so I can't look up the price. But I'm fairly positive that the Bravo is more expensive than the sharps. Those prices and uh, the links will be down in the video description below. But if you're building a rifle that you want to feel really good about, that's supposed to be a higher-end rifle, um, and you just you don't have the money to drop for like a Bravo or something like that, I think the sharps is going to be fantastic all day long. Honestly, like I said, I think I'm going to keep it in my rifle over the Bravo. Um, I'll let you know. Maybe we'll do an updated video over time. You know, I've had the Bravo in here for a year, and it still looks brand new and functions like it's brand new. So uh, I think over time we'll tell if the Sharps can handle, you know, as much as I go to the range and shoot for these videos and stuff like that. So um, anyways, that's all I've got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. This was the Sharps XPB Bolt Carrier Group. Uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that thumbs up button, and we'll see you next time on Greenlight Shooting.